let's start solving day four of element of code. So today we have Sears search and uh, goal is uh, to find words in our puzzle input and we are looking for X mass uh, in the puzzle input. So we are getting a two-dimensional grid of letters and we are looking for the appearances of Xmas and they can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, written backwards or even overlapping other words. So we are uh, looking for the number of times Xmas appear in the grid that is given to us in the puzzle input. So let's look at the puzzle input. So it's a uh, quite large but not too excessive. So let's try to actually implement this. So I will uh, put the puzzle input here and let's start. So uh, first I need to figure out the size of the input. So I will actually read lines. Read. Uh, well, actually, so right. If and now we will read. Uh, so while uh, in await input reader read line async is line. We will actually set the we can the lines will be all the same width, so we can just set it all the time and increase the line height. And also we have to actually put it into some kind of <coughs> some kind of uh, map. So we'll have a list string lines and put it there. So lines add line. So and then we can actually create a map. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. So we'll create a map and set. Uh, so it's going to be two dimensional array of characters and put those characters there. So now <coughs> we can we have a map that we are working with and we can start actually using it to search. So I will put this here as a diff height and map and we'll set those variables there. So we can actually use it in other methods that would be useful. So uh, with with height height and now that we have have that <coughs> map we can write it there. Now we can search for the words and what I will do is I will go through the whole map and then from each location I will try to go in all directions and search is if that word begins at that point in that specific directions and for that I have uh, from previous years this useful helper, helper class that contains a direction so there's uh, these are directions without diagonals these are only diagonals and this is all directions like eight point uh, and a directional uh, direction. So it's uh, right, left, uh, up, or uh, it's, this is uh, down, uh, right, uh, up, <laughs> left, and uh, then diagonals of that. We have also this one in, in 3D, but that's not relevant in this one. So I will uh, do something like, well, I will, actually I will create a helper method that will go, be like public void uh, public pool search word uh, it's going to be point uh, starting point and string word and there's going to be and direction uh, actually point direction and the word itself so this method will return true if the word is there in that specific direction. And uh, I think this 
water actually it's close to actually that might be ex exactly what what copilot is uh, suggesting here i will do it so uh, so we start we are be going through the word itself so uh character index zero and we'll go word length and character index plus plus so we'll go through the words itself and then uh, position starting point plus direction times uh, character index and it's interesting I think what it was implemented there so character index is int I think that was implemented there let's see uh, yeah, it seems that it's implemented. Mm. Anyways, I can we can uh, do it this way. So we can do uh, our current position. So we do starting point, and then at the end of the method, we will do current position plus uh, plus direction. What's it complaining about? This is definitely there. Oh, okay, right. So current position plus direction. I didn't implement this. Oh, that's odd. Let's actually see. So is it actually using the right? Oh, it's using the wrong point. That's why. Okay, so I'm using element goat puzzles tools. So this is the one, the right point that I want to use. So now that, that will work. So now actually get rid of this and do uh, so position equals starting point and this times character index so this will give me the uh, current position that we are checking and we have to check if it's within the bounds of uh, of the map itself so it has to be uh, it cannot be outside of the bounds and we also need to make sure that it's the same as the character that we're looking for so uh, so the map map at position x position y if it's not equal to word character index then we return false and if it all passes then we return true so if we go through the whole word and we didn't find any any issues then we can return that we found a word <clears throat> so that's our check and then we can actually use this method here by going through uh, for found count and we can go for x so it's gonna be uh, with and width and for y less than height and then we from each position we go through all possible directions so for direction index direction index is less than uh, directions with diagonals length and uh, we do get the reaction it's going to be this one and then we search for the word. So if, oh, not just <laughs> looking for that one, but X mass. So if the word is there in that direction, we increase the found count. And in the end, we just return found count to string. And that should be hopefully enough. <clears throat> so let's see what happens if I run this against the test data. So we have day four, this data, and it's 18. And that is correct for the sample input. So let's try it against the full one. So this is the full input, and I will try it 
there. So new folder. Here we go. So 2718. And that is correct. Okay, so we have the first part done. So let's continue the second part. The nice thing is that the Xmas word is not a palindromic word, because if it was, we would have to make sure that we count uh, only half of those occurrences. If it was like X M A uh, A M X or something, then we would have to uh, make sure to count just half of those occurrences, because we would count each word from one direction and from the opposite direction as well. So that was a that would be a problem, but luckily not here. Uh, so for the second part, we have <clears throat> we're not looking actually for X mass. We're looking for X dash mass. So we're looking for the word mass in the shape of an X. So it looks look like it will look like this, where we have in diagonals mass, or can it be even uh, even like so? It's always diagonal one. Yeah, it seems like, or at least in this sample, they have it always as a diagonal, not in horizontal or and vertical. So it seems like diagonals only. And our goal is the goal is to figure out how many times it appears. So again, the, the test input is the same. So I will use the same input. Uh, I'll copy uh, the solution so far. It's going to be quite similar, but a little bit different. And what I will do is I will, for each position, I will go one step in the opposite direction, basically, and then search if in the direction of the diagonal, uh, I found if the diagonals, I found find two occurrences of mass. So if I'm here, I will go to here, to here, to here, and to here, and we'll try to find mass uh, occurrences. And if it's if there are two occurrences, exactly two, because it, it is not a palindromic word, so exactly two occurrences, then we have uh, the the like the cross uh, the the X shape word of mass. So okay, so let's let's try that. So in so for each for each uh, position, <clears throat> we do diagonal count, and for each direction, thanks. Uh, for each diagonal index directions, diagonals only, I will get diagonal direction. It's going to be the direction. Then opposite. So we have to go one step backwards, basically. So we uh, starting point, we will get uh, like. Yes, or the current position a plus opposite direction, not times three, but just plus opposite direction. So starting from that point, if search word from starting point in diagonal direction for the word mass, then we increase diagonal count by one. And if we did increase it exactly twice, we have exactly two found diagonals, then we increase the found count. And that should be hopefully enough, actually. So yeah, okay, let's, let's try it. We'll try it against the test data first. <clears throat> And that, oh, okay, so that's part one, it's part two, and it seems that matches the expected number. So uh, let's, oh, the same input. So I will just open the input file from here. 
And let's hope. 2046. So how many was it? Oh, let's try. And that's correct. Oh, okay. So we have solved day four of Advent of Code. Uh, tune in for my second video on how ChiGPT is able to solve this, if it is able to solve it. And I will see you in day five.